thing is this. Yeah. They actually got they actually got the 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 semi on the on, on the yard like on the yard. Yeah, you actually, yeah, actually well, it's not on. You got to be in uh low custody and okay. number one to uh be a part of that, you know what I mean? Right. right. As as, once you're in um low custody and say if you got if you're in low custody, you got 2 years you know, you could take that course and get your CDLs when you're coming out. So, you know, as soon as you get out, you could go home and see your mama or whatever, but you go straight to a company, man, and they give you something like a bond. They bond you, so say if anything happened, the state of Florida bond you, so say if anything happened while this person is on a company truck, then, you know, okay, we're going to help y'all out, and we're going to figure it out how we can help y'all fix this issue we got going on because it's not really an issue. It's just that y'all see he's a felon, so we're going to bond him. We're going to take care of whatever the issue is. You know what I mean? And um, it is a good program or whatnot, man. And that's what I'm about to do with my company is try to get people that's coming out, you know what I'm saying? Give them a chance. Prison, hey, man. Right. Yeah, man. Because, you know, somebody gave me a chance. You know what I'm saying? Well, I gave myself a chance at first, but then when I went somewhere else and I hired on with a, a, a big company to learn the tanker business, you know, somebody gave me a chance, man. So, like, for me, I, I, I can actually say myself right now, if a, if, a, if a dude came out of prison, you know what I'm saying, he was two days fresh, hey, man, I trained that dude, you know what I'm saying? And give him a chance, man. Be like, come on, man, get off the street. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. You know, make money. Because every hustler out here is the same issue with every hustler, man, is money. Even a person that robs, it's all about money. I, I mean, I got to get this block. But say if I had 10 bricks right now, and I know if I break them 10 bricks down, okay, I'm going to make so much money, you know what I mean? And now, when I make that money, okay, now I got the feds looking at after me. Mm -hmm. But if I go to a job that I'm getting paid the minimum seventy five to eighty thousand a year, man, within ten years, my assets and what I have grown myself into, I'm gonna make more than what them ten bricks is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be damn near a millionaire, man. You know what I mean? And it's only gonna take me ten years. So, you know, I, I kind of changed my whole way of uh, uh, the outlook of life spirit, man. Cause you got to give people chance, man, you know? And like I say, man, I don't think it's not right now that it changed me, you know, make me change and go back to the streets at this point. You know what I mean? It's all about bettering people and bettering yourself. That's what's up, man. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah, that's, man. That's what's up. Hold on right quick. All right. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We still good. Oh, let me just switch that right there. All right. Uh, yeah, man. That's that's what's up. Bomb drop for you, bro. That's that's what's up, man. All right. So, yeah. What 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 do you got? You know, before we before we continue on, man. What what do you got to say? What do you got to say to people to negative negative people that that's in trucking that's over here saying you know and I'm, I'm hearing it I'm, I'm hearing it in my travels i'm hearing it on, right. on on more so on tiktok because everybody don't fuck with facebook no more but uh more so on tiktok everybody over here talking about oh well you know the trucking industry ain't nothing but uh but felons and 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 people don't have they they uh they 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 school they they education low low education and felons. What what do you got to say about that, bro? Well, number one, I know some people that's highly educated that drive a truck. And number two, yeah, right now, trucking is being rushed by people that has their education is probably not all that, man. But like I say. You can't fault for a man for trying. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For me to go down the road and drive 11 hours a day, man, what do I need to be a rocket scientist? Do not judge me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a person that's trying to provide for my family. So it should mm -hmm. be, I don't care if a, if from trucker to trucker, man, hey, man, 
for for a person to get their CDLs, you had to know how to read to get them. Number one, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, nah, that person re- reading not my not my might not be as better as yours, but hey, shit, you can't say the person can't read because he got the CDLs, man. He got you know it. What I'm saying? He so got to take. Right. He got to take the test, right? That's it. You got to take the test. Ain't nobody just gonna give you that shit. You know what I'm saying? But. Don't hate on nobody, man, because everybody is out here trying. Everybody is trying. Now, the ones that's doing their little pain handling stuff and all that, yeah, they're not trying, you know what I'm saying? But you got to remember, before that person was like that, that person probably could have been a person like a person who was in a truck that had it at one time. Mm. But just, you know, just hit a slope there and then never made it out, made it out, never made it out that ditch, you know what I mean? That's so don't saying. judge another man. Like they say, only God could judge me, man. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Worry about what you need to do about your family and yourself. Don't worry about the next man. If he can't read and and you look at him driving them 18 words, then he can read, bitch, because he got them CDLs. You know what I'm saying? He read good enough to get his license and kick rocks down the road. You know what I'm saying? He's a so kick y'all rocks. need to stop that. Yeah, kick, yeah, you kicking rocks down the road, man. Shit, them shits be hitting my damn mall cabin. My <laughs> 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 oh, man say, get the motherfucking rocks down the road, man. This, 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 get yeah, the fuck man. out of here with that, man. I, hey, yeah, I, man. I just hear, you know, I just hear a lot of negativity coming from, you know, coming from. I, I, I want to say old school drivers, but even the old school drivers, she even know better how 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 hard it is or how hard it hey, was. You know what? Hey, I don't, I don't mean to say this, man, but you know, for an old school driver to say that shit, man, I'm gonna tell you something some rich. From the '60s all the way to the '80s, them guys did not know how to read, man. Mm. Them what? guys were them guys. What? Them guys were not geniuses, man. What? You was not no reader and you was not no smart ass. Man. What? You know what I'm saying back then. What? These drivers that's driving nowadays are smarter than what they was back then, man. So what? Y'all need to stop that bullshit, you know? It, it, that's, that's got to stop, man. It's got to stop. What? Oh, don't shoot. Oh, they shooting. <laughs> they shoot. So, yeah, that boy say. Because you got to look at it, man. Man. Oh, for real, man! Hey. I'm saying God, all done true, man. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? I, I, hey, I, 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 I agree with you, man. I, you know, like I said, I, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. I mean, you know, some of them, you know, some of them, you know, really didn't truck back then. For them, trucking was was the only thing for them too. Yeah, man, and they didn't have CDL back then. They had chauffeur chauffeur's bike. license. Yep, chauffeur. So you and they think was grandfather. It. They was grandfather. And, yeah. That's right. So you ain't even had to take a test. You ain't even had to read shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't sit here and be talking bad about a person talking about they don't know how to read and do all this and do all that. You got to check yourself before you wreck out, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You, man, it, that's why I say the game is totally different right now, man. And there's a lot of hatred out there, you know? When I'm on the road, I can hear the white boys saying certain things on TV. But you got some cool, you got some cool Caucasians now that's that's down to earth and that'll kick it with you. Mm-hmm. But man, hey man, why you got to be ugly? Because it's only one race, and that's the human race, man. Because if I cut you and you cut me, we gonna bleed, bleed the, same the same color. color. And on and on top of that, I might speak another language. And you speak a lang- another language, but if I cut you, man, we're going to bleed the same color, man. It's only one race, and that's the human race, man. You know, and these people got this shit all white and black, you know, and this and that. Nah, man, it ain't about that, man. It's about unity, man. Yeah, you get saying. further you get further with being a one whole than everybody being separate. You know what I'm saying? Because when you separate... You know, it it, 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 it kind of like uh, it, it makes you more of a like like if you say okay, this is my challenge right here, and that could be your brother next to you, but everything is a competition between you and your cousin or you and and and, and a good friend of yours. When nah, that's not what it's supposed to be, man. You see, because and right now the world is divided. 
When I mean divided, even within the black community, the world is divided. Mm. But blacks don't stick together, you know what I'm saying? And you you can see like e- even you know I'm, I'm even I'm the, even Creole, with you know? e- even with the trucking yeah, th- there's no yeah. there's there's no unity here. Yeah, there's no unity. But I'm gonna tell you, man. I got you know I had issue one time, man. Shit, I had somebody pulled over. Hey, what's up with you, bro? Okay, yeah, right, blah blah. I'm like, damn. you know that kind of. I looked at him like, oh shit, like what, what, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, I'm glad he did that because that back at that time. We had no GPSs, you know what I'm saying? There was none of that. And I didn't know who to call it, but he just made a phone call. And I'm like, thank you, you know what I'm saying? But right now, you see a truck on the side of the road, man, the man going to keep driving, man. Mm. You know? mm. And he's going to pass right there next to you. And you and know, your lane, knowing you're supposed to get over. And you know, it's, you know? it's funny. It's funny that some companies don't even want you to pull over to help your fellow man, to be honest with you. I mean, I talked to, yeah, you know, you I talked to a, I talked to a driver that, you know, that drove for, you know, that drives for a company. And, uh, and he, uh, he, he was told, you know, during his orientation that he's not even allowed to like pull yeah. over and, and, you know, and, 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 and help because like, you know, if you're there and let's say a cop is involved or they call the cops, then they got to come over there. They got to get your information. And then all that stuff will show up on the company's record, even though that you did not have nothing to do with either the accident or the incident that you pulled over to help out for in the first place. Yeah, man. And you know what changed that man? 9-11. Because Ooh. the company I worked for, after nine eleven, they changed everything because they told me the same thing when I was in orientation. Hey, what? Man, uh, being that you do, you do, we doing, we doing a good, whatnot, yeah, we doing a good deed. Don't, yeah, don't not pull over. If mm. you see somebody on that road, do not pull. And I'm like, well, damn, you know what I'm saying? And mm. then that kind of stuck with me too because. Even like right now, I got, you know, I'm doing my own thing and whatnot. And I'm going down the road. I see a trucker sometimes, but sometimes be like, what well, damn? Should I pull over or should I not? You know what I'm saying? It, it got me thinking sometimes because some people done got robbed like that and yeah. they take your truck and they gone. You know what I'm saying? So right now, you know, I, I you know, I, it, you know, I probably, if I had a driver right now, I'd tell him the same thing, man. If you see something wrong with somebody on the side of the road, man, hey, you know, don't pull over, you know, but if you on, uh, uh, at a truck stop and somebody having problems, yeah, do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? You can do your thing, but on the side of the road, nah, man, wow. because you got a lot of people that, is, you know, since, like I say, since nine eleven, a lot of things has changed and you still got corrupt minded people out here that, that, a, that will jump in your shit and, 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 you know, and take off, you know what I mean? So, man. Especially yeah, these trucks, is, okay. especially these trucks is easy to drive now, being that they are automatic. So, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, no. I ain't, you know what? I ain't giving out automatics. You better know how to shift, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm That's what's up, Ebo, Ebo, man, yeah. Ebo, man. What's I, yeah. I, I'm enjoying myself right now, my G. Let's, yo. Let's let's get into let, let's get into what happened, man. You um I, I, I caught you on uh on Asian my Oh and, yeah, that's and, who, yeah. What was what were you thinking the first time someone was being at your door? Did, did you think it was a cop? What were you thinking? Well, yeah, I had a uh a situation one time where, you know, I had my curtains back and I'm in the truck just laid out and blown blown. I thought I really thought it was an officer the way they was beating on the door. And when I looked at it, it was this little fine ass chick. I'm like, oh shit. Hey, he's cool. Yeah, I, I caught you on Asian Mind. And uh you had a story that was tr- that 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 was lightweight that, that I, I, I didn't catch. One of my subscribers caught it. And they was like, they sent me, you know, they sent me a DM and they was like, yo, lockout, you should talk to this dude that that lost his trucking company by from a lot lizard. I'm like, a lot lizard. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, are you talking about the I said, are you talking about the dude that that email Asian my and and so he can expose the lot lizard? He was like, no, no, no. It's it's a dude that was on there talking about that he lost his shit because of a lot lizard. I was like, yo, I had to hurry up 
got to the got to the episode. I peeped it out and I reached straight out to you, man. What's talk talk yeah. to me, man? What what happened? You 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 know in the you know in Asian Mind's tag, you know he said that you know you was uh, addicted to the lot lizards and uh, and lost your uh, trucking career, man. What what happened? What went down, bro? Well, really, you know, uh, you know, I just spent a lot of money or whatnot on, on females or whatever. But at the same time, you know, I was young and out there, you know, didn't know no better, making mm -hmm. six figures. I was mm. a pussy junkie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and me being One time for today, pussy junkie. <laughs> one time for the one time for the pussy junkie. Hey, 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 hey listen, that, hey, hey, listen, listen. I don't care what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people turn around and they be like, "Oh, that's nasty," and that's you know I wouldn't do that, and this, that, and the third. But look, man, you 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 got truckers, young truckers, older truckers. That been out here on the road for X amount of days and all like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, one time for the female hustlers out there, you know, they come up to give you that, yeah. to give I you that motherfucking hustle, right, right, right. They give you I that company. I mean, you yeah. know, you. I mean, if if it's gonna go down, it's gonna go down. Go down for real, man. Yeah, so, man. and I don't know nobody hustle, man. You know. But yeah, I you know I was addicted to that at one point, man. You know I used to be back and forth. Shit, man, even up there where you from, cleaning over there by the damn um over there by the damn cleaning Brown Stadium, man. Shit, downtown. What? O over there in the park, days, man. What Down shit, there, the King man. Kennedy. King what? Kennedy. Man. King man, Kennedy. I had me and my homeboy, me and my homeboy was 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 up there, man. And yeah, man, I. Used be everywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even Minnesota, man. Minnesota, I done had crazy nights there, man. Training a guy to drive a truck, man. I told him, man, this is what trucking is about, man. What's up? I'm going to show you. And it was freezing, man. It was like that, man, negative two degrees or some shit. And man. they was, was out there hustling? Man, nah. We went to a bar. I took it to a bar, though. You know what I'm saying? I took it to a bar, right? And mm -hmm. I'm like, man, we got to find somewhere to stay. And I'm like, he's like, well, what you been doing? I said, I I said, man, I'm gonna get us somewhere to shack up for the night, boy. He's like, well, you crazy? <laughs> so he didn't believe it. So we out there and we partied and up there. He's like, yeah, this nigga crazy. So it's like, it was like five or six chicks chilling together on by the bar, and I'm just dancing, having a good time. And he's looking at me. He, he trying to follow my lead, and boom, out of nowhere, you know, we buy them drinks. I, I buy them drinks, right? And then you know, one of them said the magic word, man. Where y'all from? Oh, we from Florida. Whew. Once we said that, and you know, the conversation led to something else, and I'm like, man, I need to play the shower up fast. She like, honey, you come to my place. I like, and then you know, the trainee, I was trying to look at me. He's like, oh shit, he got it. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, I got my boy with me right here. She like, it's no problem. And the lady did a fantastic job, man. Went to her house. She cooked me a steak, cooked him a steak, man. It was asparagus. I'd never forget, man. And she she made me take a shower and everything, man. Oh my God, man. And then and then when I came out the shower and, you know, I ate my steak and everything, she's giving me a massage and and my uh the guy I'm training, I'm trying to tell him don't laugh like, you know what I'm saying? She's giving me a massage, man. And we're in Minnesota, it's freezing outside. I'm like, man, shit, like, what's up, you know? And after that, you know, one thing led to another. We did what we did, me and the lady or whatever. But um, where yeah, where, man, where was know, the trainee at? He, he, he ain't get in on none of that? Nah, nah, he ain't get in. He was a younger dude. You know, I think he was probably like 24 at the time. Okay. And, you know, I was just trying to show him, like, sometimes, like, you can't always just sleep in your truck. Because even when it's cold, you might not have that heat. That heat might not work. Right. You right. know, and now like, man, you know, you might go somewhere, man, just find somebody that, you know, you can deal with and y'all compatible or whatever and y'all could kick it, you know, but you got to communicate. You'll know by the time you communicate with a person if you could really fly with that person and take their shit. Now, Ebo, not not Ebo, let's make this clear. You are you are and were a single 
man doing your damn thing, right? Oh yeah, at that time and, and now, yes. <laughs> okay, let me just get yeah. let me just make sure because you know that, that that's the you pretty much you pretty much saying the stigma of what's going on with these trucking trucking dudes out here. We we got we yeah. we got one in every in in every area called. But let's let's get this clear. All right, let's get this clear. You was you was single. You didn't have a woman. You were single though, right? Yeah, I was yeah, I was single. I was at, I had a I was a single parent at the time too and Okay. My thing was to, you know, to get a female to kinda help me out too, man, to watch the kids and all, man. And shit, yeah, hey. You know, like I was out there, man, you know what I'm saying? Searching, man, looking for help. Uh, mm -hmm. At the same time, but also knocking them down at the same time. You know? <laughs> he say knocking them down at the same time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> All right. Yeah. So what? What? Yeah, what, um, what? What happened, man? I mean, you you out there? You trucking? You six figures? You you doing the damn thing? What? 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 What, what happened? What? Uh, how, how you end up losing it all at one point? Oh, uh, nah. Well, I I had a little issue with someone, and then. Uh, the police got involved. I oh. went to jail. Oh. And then that's how just everything went down. And I think I did like uh, a little bit over six months or whatnot. And when I got out, you know, I was like, damn, you know, everything was going down. He's about to lose the house and, and over there in Douglasville or whatever. And I was like, oh, shit, you know, what do I do? So, you know, I had to, you know, rebuild myself up or whatever, man. And, that's just that's just how I lost everything, and then you know I went to work for somebody, and I had to you know beef myself back. Right, there. you had to be you had to you be know? humble and all like that, and it kind of yeah. put you back, kind of put you back in perspective. You know, it, yeah. I mean, well, is is it safe to say that you know is it safe to say at that time making all that money that was coming in that you wasn't used to making that kind of money, and that was making you doing things that you you would you normally wouldn't do. Well, it was in the money. Uh, I, what was it? I think it was just being away, man. Being in a in new area, you know, nobody know me. And, you know, I'm trying to make my name known or whatnot, you know, because I was everywhere, man. I was doing music at the time, too. I was in the streets, you know, chilling with some uh, hitters or whatever you want to call it. You know, I was, I was out there, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Hey, I just call it a life learned lesson. And then exactly. I humbled myself, you know, I humbled myself and, you know, uh, start getting, I was always into the Bible or whatever, but, you know, I got more into it and it was like, yeah, man, I got to make sacrifices, man. So God to take away a lot of things from me, man. He's a female, money, everything, man. And they happened back to back. And when I asked for it, it actually happened. Mm. And that was the most craziest thing at the point in my life when, you know, I just, it didn't take me to go to jail, not to have sex for a certain amount of years. I told God, <laughs> that's what I do. That, that's what I'm going to do to prove to you. And that's what I did, man. You know what I'm saying? I did that. And mm. then I asked him to take money away from me, man. I, you know, uh, I all I had was a government phone, man. He took it away from me, man. It was about 13, 14 months. So he had, so what you know? so what you went what you went through was that humbling process so you can so yeah, you can man. better yourself. Yeah, man, I asked for it, man, and then I never forget. It's like I heard Sir say, Okay, now it's time to go get it. I heard that, man. I don't know what to do. Man, listen. And then, when we right before that, mm -hmm. I asked him. It's like suddenly said, what do you want out of this? And I told him, man, if you could just let me open up my authority back up, man, and, and, and I'm going to build the biggest company like I was supposed to the first time, man, now that I'm not blind. And, and then, man, I'll never forget, man, God called me, hey, man, you got the job. Oh, I said, oh, damn. And, you know, I got the job, man, and hey, I started building myself up, slowly but surely, man, and Fort Marie, you know, went and I was like, you know, I'm the type of person I don't like going back to the same thing when I leave something alone. So that's why I went to the tankers. 
Mm-hmm. And I learned that part of the business, and I was like, damn, yeah, this is a whole different outlook, man, you know? So, you know, I did a tanker, and, and, and now, you know, I, I just purchased my tanker. Mm. You know, I got a tanker. Uh, it, it, it's, like I say, I'm on the produce side, and I'm also have a tanker side. Do you do you so have right your now, do you do you have your hazmat? Yeah, man, I have everything, man. I'm certified, man. Mm. With uh, with uh, the F F M C S A. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm certified. I'm certified with them for hazardous. Um, you know, the whole hazardous products. Uh, like I really, man, I re- I really re- reinvented myself, man. I went man, back. Man, I'm loving it. I'm I'm loving this conversation, yeah, bro. Yeah. I am I am loving this conversation, man, because you is the quintessential guy, trucker guy. Came from yeah. came came from the bottom, made it to the top, yeah. fell again, rebuilt. And now you back at it again, bro. Got your own, yeah. got your, got your own authority, your own truck, your own, tr- your own tanker. You said fuck getting yeah. the trailer. You went and got yeah. a tanker. So do you? Yeah. Well, so I got both. I got a, I got a reefer and a tanker because it's going to be two sides of the company. It's going to be a produce side and it's going to be a tanker side. So you, you know, so how many, now it is? How many? How many trucks? How many trucks you got now? And and. Do you have anybody driving yet, or are you looking for people to drive? Well, I had I had two drivers, you know what I mean? How um, did that work I out? Told them, it, it worked out pretty good, you know, told them how to shift and everything, but I was, you know, I told them, hold on, you know, um, go and do your thing, and right around December, but for sure in January, Come back. I'd bring them back, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, all right, no problem, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, I had to, you know, People sometimes when you talk, they they like you know he's for the hot air, you know what I mean, or whatever the case may be. But now they see, oh shit, he went and bought that tanker. He got that tanker now. Oh, he ain't bullshit. And now I'm gonna add more trucks, you know what I mean. And I got to hook up with a guy that I got equipments that got reefers and tankers. And uh, I'll be purchasing, you know, I purchase it from him, you know what I mean, and. You know, I, I all I did is like a business communication with somebody to let them know I'm not I'm not pulling your leg. I'm about this, and uh, let's continue to work. Whatever you get, just give me a call. I'm going to get it for you and put drivers on top of that. You know man, what I mean? And, and basically, that's about it. How how is it before we get up out of here, man? How how is it dealing with the brokers? And you know, I you know I I hear the same thing through my travels. You know, I like that. And everybody that I talk to, they saying that, you know, that the broke, you know, they always looking at the broker's pocket and all like that. And and the brokers is not is not giving you guys the 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 rates that that you guys deserve yeah. and all like that. How how is it nah. how, how is it working with the brokers and trying to get, you know, trying to get loads and get good paying loads? Well, it's kind of hard, man. It's like squeezing, it's like trying to squeeze water out of rock, you know what I mean? Number one. But uh, what I did, I had to actually talk to a broker and let him know that, hey, man, when you're sleeping, you know, us truckers out here is what keep the world moving. Like your drawers that you got on, your underwear, if you wear glasses, whatever you got on, a uh, truck had to get it there in order for you to, to buy it. And, you know, I a lot, had to a lot get of people don't broker. understand that. They don't, they don't, man. But I had to get into this broken mind, you know what I mean? And, and, and like, actually let that person know, like, hey, man, you know, I'm out here busting my ass. Not just for me, but for you, too. So you go buy that, buy that uh, pack of rice or that canned food or whatever it may be that you need at, 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 at the convenience store or whatever. I'm that guy that's working for you and you're not even, you're, you're shitting on me. You know what I'm saying? You don't mm. think I'm supposed to make this much money because of the fact you see how much it is, but you ain't doing nothing but just pushing a button. That's mm. all you're doing. Mm. Now, don't hate on me because you see how much, what I'm about to make. It's not about that. It's about you being able to go somewhere and buy what you want to buy and it being there 
You know what I mean? And in order for that to happen, it's truckers. So, you know, after I talked to the to the person like that, you know, they were like, well, hey, I'll give you this much more money, man. Shit, man. Shit, you, you're about to bring tears to my eyes. I was like, nah, it ain't about that, man. I'm out here busting my ass, man. When you sleep, I'm driving. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, what you do every morning, where you at? Where you at? You calling me, telling my why I'm at with your load, man. I don't want that shit, man. I want to deliver that shit and get me another load, bro. That's what I want to do. You know what I mean? You, but you, you don't want to be. You don't want. Yeah. You don't want to be micromanaged. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, 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 nah, man, that ain't cool, man. But you know, it is what it is. Like the system is out here is crazy, and, and I'm glad that now I don't got affiliated with. I'm not gonna say a broker, but more of a. A, a, a company is different from me now. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. the broker is that middleman that's that's cutting you out. You know, and and man, you know, I'm just hoping everything work out for me. You know, uh, must must success, say, bro. Uh, I, I I I pray I, I pray that everything work out for you too, man. I mean, you came you 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 came a long way, man. I mean, it just I I learned so much. I learned so much from you. <laughs> within the last within this last hour man then i learned in a lifetime bro you know you, you and you prove you 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 proven that you you know you 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 did it man i mean you 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 proven that cats that's interested about coming into trucking that may have some little skirmishes in the background you prove that you know you if you can do it they can do it too yeah. You know? Yeah, man. And 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 you still keeping the you still keeping the hustle going. You still again, yeah, like I said, like like you said, you still hungry. Even at the even at your age, because like a lot of cats, you know, a lot of cats get at the age like they full. And then they get lazy. Wow. They get they they get lethargic and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just like it's just like the hustle, you know, with the with the rap game. Even though we know that the that the music business is so fucked up, you didn't stop. Just like my nep, just like my cousin, he ain't stopped. You know, there was points, there was points in the road, but he ain't stopped. My cousin, DJ Ryan Wolf, same thing with him. There was points in the road, but he ain't stopped. So now he's yeah, like the man. he's right. He's night. He's he's the he, he's the well-known DJ in Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This like you, this like you, you ain't stopped. And now look where you at. Two trucks, a tanker, a reefer, own authority, back back to making six figures, putting putting yeah. people, putting people on, putting people that that came from where you came from on, giving them a chance to see. Yeah, man. You know, so much respect to you, bro. Yeah, man. Much yeah. respect to you, and I, and I appreciate now, you know, it. I, it. It's a program that I want to, um, that you know, I'll talk to somebody the other day, man, and you know, uh, like, like I say, somebody gave me a chance, and I want to give other people opportunity. That's what's I'm up, gonna man. take that chance to go get somebody that's not doing good. You know, probably get at a halfway house or, or somewhere and pull them out and be like, hey, man, why you want to try this and build that person? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, everybody needs a little help. Because when you down, man, I, man, if you only knew my situation, where I used to wake up to alligators waking me up for a long time <laughs> when they come out. The sun days, bro. You know, the aggregate, the aggregates come out, man, they make that noise. Uh, I'm like, what the hell is that? When I look, man, it's like seven, eight on. You say them alligators mean down in the Everglades, huh? Oh, yeah, man. I done been down and out, bro. I done been down and out, man. So I want to give people opportunity, man, and, and build they self up. Well. Because here, by, the, by next year, January, I should have a program where, you know, I'll be pulling people basically off the streets and giving them a chance, man. That's what's you know up, what man. Saying? That's what's and, up. And you know, up. put it, put it, put it out there. Let it manifest, and it should happen for you, man. 
Ebo. 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 Yeah. Ebo rapper, entrepreneur, truck driver, fleet owner. Man, come on. Come on, my G. I, hey, listen, I, I appreciate you coming on, man, chopping it up with me. Like I said, that this, this is what I do, man. This is what I do. I sit back, relax, hop on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Chop it up. No, I like that. You know, have great conversations, listen to great stories, make new friends, make new connections. So you are a citizen now, man. So anytime you need to you need to come on to promote or anything like that, man, you got my number, bro. Hit me up and 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 we'll we'll get it out there for you, man. All right, love. That's what's up, bro. All right. I appreciate you. You stay safe. Where where you where you where you at or where you heading to uh tomorrow? Tomorrow's Monday. Well, well tomorrow, I don't know, man. Uh like you know, I have a little issue with my truck, gotta change the ejector or whatnot. But, mm-hmm. you know, I'm getting ready to put, you know, I did my DOT inspection on my uh, on the tanker. You know, I just bought it and everything, got everything right on that. Uh I'm gonna put that on the road, man, and then um uh, you know, get back to it, bro, you know. That's what's up. Yeah, man. That's what's get, up. Get back on that tanker and, and uh, you know, hopefully here shortly have somebody else drive my uh, my uh, reefer trailer and, you know, uh, you know, help me to um, make the thing blossom, you know? Make it make it work, bro. Like I said, any anytime, anytime, online, offline, in line, whenever you need it, you know, whenever you need to chop it up and all like that, man, let's 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 do it, bro. For sure. For all sure. right. I appreciate yeah, you, man. man. All right, Lord, man, ain't no problem, man. And boy, that shit, I used to love to be out there and clean the boy. Oh, hey, hey, ain't, ain't nothing but like. But that's another conversation. Ain't <laughs> ain't, ain't ain't nothing like it, bro. I mean, I I travel. Yeah. That I be like, I be like, I'm traveling all over and all like that. But ain't no place like home, bro. Ain't no, I, yeah, I, ain't that no place like home, bro. Yeah. They keep asking me. Yeah. They like, yo, is she gonna come down to Texas? Hold on, real quick. I got something. Where is that? There you go. They said I'm going to come down to Texas. I'll come down there to visit. I'll come down there to visit. I, I don't know about living down there, though. But I'll come down there to visit. <laughs> Ebo, man, you take it easy, and I'll holler back at you in a minute, man. You be easy. All right, now. All right, Let's now. Bro. For sure. Yep.